Hey everyone, I'm going to share how you can create a custom SendGrid subscription widgets without any coding. So Digio is a form builder that enables you to build subscription widgets and all, all sorts of forms in minutes just by dragging and dropping. You can create uh, any type of form or widget like banners, light boxes, inline widgets, preference quizzes, even progressive forms. So basically any type of form you might need. And uh, with Digio, you can also add in unlimited custom fields, which you can use to se segment your subscribers in SendGrid. This is the, so this is the Digio editor, and I created a SendGrid subscription widget demo just to show you around a little. Um, first of all, I wanted to show you that you can add unlimited fields. You can add in the usual name, email, phone number fields, but then you can add in custom fields. And these fields can be... Um, I'm just going to show you here. They can be text boxes, text, er text areas, drop down check box, hidden fields, and date pickers and uh, calendars and drop downs. So you have a lot of options. I'm going to hide this though. So for this example, I created two custom fields. I created a birth date custom field, which is going to pass a birth date to my SendGrid account. And I also created a product interest drop down field where the new subscriber can and uh, can select which of the two types of products they're interested in. Uh, in this case, in this example, it's plush toys or wooden toys. So this can be used for segmentation in SendGrid. You can also add um, unlimited buttons, text, images, or HTML. And all of these um, elements can be dynamic, so they can vary, the, the actual content can vary depending on page URL, UTM parameters, or, or on-page content. So I was going to show you one more thing. Oh yes, the, um, these light boxes are responsive, meaning that they look great both on mobile devices and on desktop devices. In terms of the integrations, you just have to select send, the SendGrid marketing uh, integration and add it in. And it seamlessly connects. Okay, so now I'm going to add a condition so that this light box only displays to first time visitors. We have lots of different conditions to choose from uh, display, frequency, history, uh, depending on how many page views or how many times they visited, which is what we're going to choose past visits. We're going to choose past visits less than one. So this will only show to new visitors. And there are other conditions that you can add in. You can uh, display based on cookie rules, JavaScript variables and functions, uh, referring sites, page URL, the current page URL, referring page URL, UTM parameters, the time on the page, scroll percentage, uh, H whether HTML elements exist, device types, geolocation, and other light boxes. So there's tons of conditions. But right now I'm just going to leave it to uh, past visits is less than one. So I'm going to uh, save that, close. And now I'm going to um, go over and go to SendGrid and show you my uh, the custom fields that I created so that I can pass the date, the birthday data and the product interest data. I created a birthday custom field and a product interest custom field. And now that the SendGrid custom fields are set up, I can map them to the Digio custom fields within the Digio integrations, ed integrations editor. So basically you can map as many fields as you want. So really you can pass as much uh, data as you need so that you can really segment your lists. If you'd like to learn more about Digio and our integration with SendGrid, um, please come visit us at digio.com slash SendGrid subscription widget and we'd be happy to answer any questions or give you a tour of Digio.